Welcome! In this video, I just want to go over the very basics very quickly of what engine oil codes mean. I realise I've got two other videos on the subject which are more in depth, but I want to summarise what they mean in just a few minutes, if you like, so that people can get the content that they want and move on. If they want to go into it any deeper, it's best to have a look at those other two videos I have. So here goes. And I've got to use an example, so I'm just going to use 5W30. There's no other reason for this, only I've just plucked it out. I normally I normally use 5W30 as an example because my car runs on this, but it, it goes for all oil codes. But if we take a look at the code, we'll see there that we've got this part of the code here, the 5W, and then we've also got this part of the code here, the 30. So let's take a look what they mean. And so let's start with the five. So here we are, let's start with the five now. If we take a look here, we can see that this five represents an SAE viscosity of five. And that's where this letter comes in, the W. Now there is literature out there saying that this W refers to weight, so weight of the oil. And there's other literature saying to keep it simple, we refer to this W as winter. And so what that means is that during the winter associated with the cold, so during the winter associated there, that this oil, because these two, this letter and this number go together, that this oil during the cold has an SAE rating of five. The chemical composition inside allows this oil to have a, a very thin viscosity so that when the engine started, from cold, that oil can get up to the vital engine components as quickly as possible. And then I'll explain now where these two come in. But these two numbers aren't separate, they're referred to as the 30. And this means that this oil changes its chemical composition and its viscosity to an SA30. And it achieves that when the engine is at working temperature. So now it's at working temperature and it's no longer cold. It's now acting like an SAE 30. So that's the difference there. We've got an SAE 30 at working temperature. And the chemical composition inside this oil has, has allowed this 30 to occur. But to explain it even more, in more detail, please take a look at my other two videos. I have two videos on YouTube already going into this subject a little more. And on one of my videos, there is an explanation of how the molecular components of this oil or any multigrade oil, it doesn't have to be a 530, as I've said, it basically explains how they work and the chemical composition and how that reacts to allow this to occur. So please take a look at those videos. But I really want to thank you for looking at this very short video. It was purposely short, as I've said, so that you can get the information as quickly as possible and explore it deeper if you need to. So thank you so much for watching.